Today we're going to bring a vinyl record player. Now, this is something that's making a comeback, vinyl records. The records are not included when you purchase something like this, but pretty much you get the actual vinyl record player. You get the power supply and you get instructions how to use it if you're not familiar with vinyl records. Now, we are going to test it out on a vinyl record that I purchased. I actually have one and I own them and I like listening to the original sounds. So let's take a look at it and see what you get when you get something like this. Look at a couple of designs on the actual record player. Uh, you got the actual classical speakers in here. This is how the old speakers used to be on a wooden box. Very beautiful, elegant. This is actually made of real wood um, with real materials in here. You got your connections for your headphones in case you don't want to listen to the actual speakers. You can do that, your volume control. And then you have your record player speeds and also where the actual record player goes. There's a dust cover for it. So if you want to make sure this is not collecting any dust, especially the needle, always keep the needle enclosed and after not used, I would suggest maybe putting the cap on. Uh, needles are the first things that always go on any kind of record player because people damage them or don't know how to use them. So today we're going to actually plug it in and take a look at it. You got the two analog lines on the for the stereo. You got left and right, you got power, and then you have auxiliary in and then you have USB. So today we're going to actually power it up with the actual power cord that came in. This is the back of it. And then we're going to take a look at the inside. You got an auto stop on and off. Your speeds 33 to 78 speeds. Your drop of the record and your pickup of the record. All right. So this is the needle um, pickup and the drop of the needle. So this is what you do to start playing the player, the actual record. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And to turn it on, all you got to do is click to the right. You put the volume if you want higher, lower, however you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how it works. you're done playing with the record player so just make sure you put back the cap here all right we're going to place this to cover the needle so we won't damage it for traveling purpose say say you're going to take this to a party put it down here bring it down to the actual lock and manually move it here and then all you got to do is make sure you lock it in place and you're set to go and all right let's turn on the bluetooth part of it if you guys can see it we're going to turn it on right now in order to make the bluetooth enabled you got to make sure you have this off all right so it's blinking right now if you guys can see that we're going to go to our bluetooth settings we're going to go down if you guys can see it turntable found it hit turntable all right it's pair we're pairing it and there it is now we're able to play the audio through here so let's go ahead and take a look at that part this Playing our Bluetooth. So instead of um, records, you can always use it as just a regular Bluetooth player. Hope you guys enjoy the video.